then we're going to start standing we're going to take a nice deep breath you know that's how i like to start just bring ourselves into the moment notice how our body is feeling take a nice deep breath down into the belly and slowly release inhale and exhale one more time lovely let's start moving through the arms inhale reaching up and back down inhale reaching up and back down to the sides one more time and out and then we're just going to start drawing some circles with the shoulders so inhale all the way up and back drawing as big a circle as you can with your shoulders so they come all the way up towards the ears and then you draw them all the way down and back that's it one more and then we're going to reverse it so we take it through the same path but we go backwards first and then forwards which way feels easier which way feels more natural it's always good to go both ways just to notice the difference and one more lovely reaching out to the side and just opening up really expanding across the chest just stretching your fingertips as far away from the body as possible big breath in and out inhale and exhale coming back down to the sides with the arms breathing in reaching up to the sky we're going to take it across to the left side so we're going to feel that length all the way up through the right side of the body and then we're going to come back up to the top and take it to the right And then coming back up to the top, another nice deep breath in, bringing the arms back down. We're going to take a gentle swing, just let the weight of the hands go from one side to the other. Give your body a nice gentle twist. Just have to loosen up through the back. That's it. Nice and playful with this one. One more each way. And then just slowly bring it back into your still. Good. And we're going to stand on our right leg. So spread the toes, lifting through the arch. And then we're just going to bring that left knee up and back down. So we're just going to start to warm up through the hips. That's it. And if that feels nice and stable, let's start lengthening through the leg. And just keep it with the knee if you find that this starts to tip you off balance that's it great stuff and one more and then we're going to stand on the left leg again just spread the toes lift through the arch bring that right knee up good and again you can keep it with just bringing the knee you want to add a little bit more you start lengthening through the leg You've got enough space <laughs> well done and again just focus on lifting from the hip flexor and then squeezing the glute as you take it back last time and coming back down i'm just going to take a little side kick so you're going to stand back on the right leg and just take your left leg out to the side Squeeze and lift from the outside of your hip and you're going to feel your glute engage as well. Hold on if you need to. Try and keep that balance. Keep drawing the body up. That's good. And one more. We're going to do the same on the right side. So we come into our left leg and then we just start to lift. Think diagonally back or slightly out to the side. Squeeze and lift. It nice and controlled and one more Good. coming back 
onto both feet and we're just going to get the feet and also the ankles moving so we're going to squeeze up onto our tiptoes for some calf raises so you're going to feel the engagement through the back of your leg in that lower portion you want to try and get up right onto your tiptoes you're going to feel the squeeze in here and then control it back down again squeeze and up let the toes spread gripping your mat or the floor that's it loosening everything up warming up nicely that's it one more time great stuff we're just going to get ourselves into our mountain so bringing your feet underneath your hips so your ankles knees hips all stacked and then just drawing the crown of the head to the sky and let your arms hang down by your side take a nice deep breath in and slowly out one more time inhale reach up to the sky we're going to swan dive down into a forward fold, soften the knees as much as you need to. I'm always there. a little bit sticky on this first fold, so don't worry if it doesn't feel comfortable. Maybe take hold of your elbows, just gently swing from side to side. And then we're just going to very slowly roll it back up into our mountain. Great stuff. Standing tall. Take another nice deep breath, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening through the legs and the spine, and then fold back down. Just hang there for another breath. I'm going to take one more lift, so halfway lift. And back down. Bring the hands to the mat. We're going to walk our way forward until we're in our high plank. We're going to roll over the toes into downward facing dog. And we'll pedal through, lengthening one leg and then the other. Just trying to find some comfort here. Adjust yourself as you need to. Really try and pitch those hips up. Spread the toes and the fingers. Push the ground away with your hands. Gently drop your heels down towards the mat. Take a nice big breath and roll forward into high plank. Now back over the toes into down dog. Now again, roll forward. And back. One more time. And back to down dog. So already hopefully you're starting to notice the difference as you start to open up. And then we're going to gently take our knees as wide as the mat, drop them down, release the toes, sit back onto the heels and rest your forehead to your mat. Enjoying our extended child pose again. Just taking a moment of rest. Still focusing on the breath. Take a breath to the left side. And then take it all the way over to the right side. And then coming back to the centre. our next inhale to come into our tabletop and again I want you just to use 
the mat back and forth, maybe a little bit side and side until we come to stillness, focused on the midline, feeling centered and balanced. And we're gonna move to our cat cow, get the spine moving, lubricate one cat and one cow at a time. Big breath in, gently lift through the center of your back, tuck the chin. into our cow, opening through the heart space as we breathe out. And use the pace of your own breath today to move from cat to cow. Just observe how your body's feeling today. Some days are easier than others. Some days we start with more movement and mobility and as we start really stiff but hopefully wherever you were going by the end you're going to feel ready for the rest of the day one more time neutral, tucking those toes underneath hips, up into the air, down, facing dog, big breath, and left leg comes up into the air, three-legged dog, draw the knee up, and step the foot through, drop the right knee down, into our equestrian, opening up through the hip flexors, and down the quad, so really focus on your breath, and opening up through the hips, letting the tension go from the body. That's it, one more breath, and then we're gonna slide into our pigeon. So we're either gonna bring the foot across or take it onto your back if you find that is a better hip opener for you. So we slide the left foot across the mat, bring the left knee down. We will let on your back, bringing your left ankle across your right leg and squeeze the right leg in. That's it. I'm just going to take this stretch as deep as our body wants to go today. Trying to find some comfort, so not forcing it. Just need to observe and accept. How we're feeling right now, and use our breath to release and let go. And then on our next inhale, slowly bringing yourself up, tuck your back toes underneath, so, or flip yourself back over, and then we will bring our left foot back to meet the right downward facing dog. That's where we meet so that we can do the same on the right side. So nice big breath in, right leg up into the air, three-legged dog, draw the knee through, stepping the foot in between the hands, dropping the left knee down, making sure everything is in alignment. Just hold it there, reach that point of stretch. Slowly breathing in. Side. Now we're going to move into our pigeon. So either taking it onto your back or sliding the foot across until the knee is down, lengthening that left leg back behind. And then releasing the head to rest on your hands or reaching out in front. All 
focus on that breath. Just by doing that, it can really help reduce the tension in the rest of the body rather than creating more. And again, on your next inhale, we're going to bring ourselves up into a seated position, popping the soles of the feet together and just letting the knees hang out to the side, sitting up nice and tall. That feels good. One more breath here. And then we're going to slide the legs out in front of us until the legs are straight and the toes are up. We're going to do a seated fold. So, big breath in, and as you breathe out, just slide it down towards your feet. Let the head hang heavy. Again, try not to get tense, try and just breathe out, release, relax. And then slowly slide back up. And we're going to take it down into Corp Savasana. So just tuck the tailbone underneath, slide it down to a lead on your back. It. We want to get ourselves nice and comfy. So just going to take one couple more squeezes before we relax. So I just want you to bring your left knee up into the chest, squeezing with your hands, and release the left leg. Same with the right. Bring the right knee up towards your chest. Squeeze, opening up. Releasing the right leg, and then we're going to bring them together. A nice big hug. Give yourself a nice big hug. Congratulate yourself for committing to a daily stretching routine. Whether you've done every single one, or you've done more than you would have if you hadn't committed. A nice big hug. Rock and roll if you need to. And then we're just going to very gently release the legs, slide them away, bring your arms down by your side, take a nice big breath in and out. And as you breathe out, just allow your entire body to surrender and sink into your mat. And we're just going to take a moment to scan the body, notice any tension without judgment, use the next exhale to let it go. Just take this moment to enjoy the quiet and the peace and the calm. to. Thank you. Please do subscribe and let me know how you've got on.